Right, you ready? Hello, I'm Edwin. And I'm Will. And welcome to our new channel, Top Dead Center. Before we go through the plans for the channel and what you're going to see, I thought it might be worth going through why we're standing here right now. Now, I worked at Car Throttle for nearly nine years. I started when I was 18 years old. I gave up my uni degree to come and work there as an intern. Now, I started in sales, which I was shit at, so I got moved over to the social media team where I met William Chandler, who you may know from the channel Overdrive. Now, Will and I quickly became best friends, where we would work five days a week in London and then usually do something on the weekend as well, either trying to fix a car and failing or going to a car show. Now, I had an absolutely amazing time at Car Throttle. It was my dream job and I never really had any intention of leaving. Now, none of us at CT that you see on screen have any stake in Car Throttle at all. We don't choose the budgets, the direction or anything of that sort. Now, originally, Car Throttle was owned by the founder, Adnan Ibrahim, but he sold Car Throttle in 2019 to a large media company. Our team of 25 quickly shrunk to about 10 when people realized that it wasn't as good as it used to be. Then in 2022, when Alex left to make his channel, I was invited onto the YouTube channel to help Jack and Ethan make videos, which then culminated in me being on camera. I still don't know how that happened. Then at the beginning of 2023, it was sold again to a <laughs> In 2023, Carthrott was sold to another person. And everything was looking up at the beginning. We were given some budget to make the golf series, which we all love making and you guys seem to love too. However, after the golf series, we were told that our budgets would be cut and that things weren't working out as they should. Nothing was making as much profit as it should do. That went on for around a year up until recently when we were told we weren't allowed to work on any more cars. No buying, no restoring, no nothing. It was too expensive. And it was at that point that I kind of looked around and realized CT wasn't at home for me anymore. If I couldn't mess with old cars, I'm not that much use there. So I quit my dream job. And straight after quitting, I got a message from Will asking if we should do the thing that we've been talking about doing for years. Yeah, because I also didn't have a job <laughs> for a very good reason that I'll get to in a sec. So obviously, as you just heard, I met Edwin in 2016, which is when I started at Car Throttle. I was an intern similar to Edwin started. I had no idea what I was doing really. Didn't really have any qualifications to be there, but ended up on the social team. And I think we probably had four of the best years that 100%. We, we could have ever had really. Messing about with cars, talking about cars and making memes. Making memes. Yeah, it doesn't really get much better than that. <laughs> so I was at CT for about four, four and a bit years. And in 2019, the company got sold the first time and it didn't feel the same anymore. We moved into a massive office, lots of people. It was, wasn't quite the same. And then 2020 came and for obvious reasons, there were lots of redundancies and I actually took a voluntary redundancy. I did abandon ship, yeah. but it was a big risk and I just wanted to see what else was out there really. I wanted to see what else I could take my small skill set. So after leaving CT, I sort of went freelance for a bit, worked with another YouTuber, a bunch of different people before I had stumbled upon a job at Overdrive, which was then Driven Media. I was just a writer, really. I would write the scripts and then someone else would present them on camera. And then somehow when we started doing more live stuff out and about, I ended up on camera. Don't really know how. And then I did almost, Two years, so close to two years uh, there, but it was it was the best time I could have ever had. I've never focused on YouTube. That's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, it was good. But then October last year, I got made redundant. So I took a voluntary one and then I got given one. So kind of had now it coming. Now you just need to quit. Now you've got all three. <laughs> and I was told that the channel wouldn't be making videos anymore and that it would probably be sold. So my first reaction to that was to see if I could buy the channel to try and keep it alive because it was 500,000 subscribers. I thought it would be worthwhile. So I spoke to the owner about potentially buying it but the asking price was it was just insane it would have been three or four years of my salary to pay it off and i didn't have a job so it's difficult to pay for things yeah um, crazy so with neither of us having jobs we discussed doing the thing that we've been talking about doing for years and been encouraged to do by friends and family a lot start a youtube channel yeah and that is it's all it's a bit scary yeah uh, it's a bit of a jump it's not like your regular kind of job uh so we spoke to some friends and some old colleagues yeah very old colleagues. very old very old one's very old one's very old one's very old and not only did they say we should do it they said that they would support us and help us in running the channel so just like you we spend all of our spare time and working time working on cars buying cars buying parts searching for cars it's pretty much all we do so that's why we're here with this new channel top dead center we figured the stuff that we do in our spare time on weekends we might as well make some videos about it you're likely going to see a lot of familiar faces on this channel because we want to share our adventures and the things we do with cars with as many of our friends as possible and this episode has been a lot of waffle really it's been a lot of talking but we promise next week first episode and we've bought a particularly rare porsche oh very rare medium rare even very crispy mm. so please subscribe to the channel 
follow both of us on Instagram and also follow all of the TDC socials as well. Please do, it will help more than you guys know. And as a little bonus, here's a teaser for next week's video. Wow. It doesn't start, it doesn't crank. You can't buy this. I've bought it. Oh my God. It's been vandalized. Well, no That's shit. <laughs> what have you done? Oh my God.